Have you ever wondered about the secrets of ancient Egypt? Think of those majestic pyramids that touched the sky and imagine the people who built them having a profound connection to something as ordinary as hygiene. What if I told you that hygiene was more than just staying clean for them? It was a part of their daily lives and spiritual beliefs. Let's travel back in time to the banks of the Nile River and uncover the remarkable story of how hygiene was a lifeline in the world of ancient Egypt. So go ahead, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more crazy history content. And now, on Histories Untold, Hygiene in Ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, personal cleanliness was a daily ritual that reflected the people's commitment to maintaining health and comfort in a harsh desert climate. The Egyptians recognized the importance of bathing, not only for hygiene, but also for social and religious reasons. Bathing was seen as a way to purify the body and soul. The primary method of bathing in ancient Egypt involved the use of water, natron, a naturally occurring salt, and oils. They used natron as a cleaning agent and believed it had antibacterial properties. Natron was applied to the body, followed by a thorough rinsing with water to remove impurities. Oils were then applied to moisturize the skin, which helped counteract the drying effects of the arid climate. Egyptians also made use of various perfumes and scented oils as part of their personal hygiene routine. These fragrances not only added a pleasant aroma, but were also thought to have protective qualities against insects and the harsh sun. Shaving was another common practice in ancient Egypt. Egypt, and both men and women participated in it. Men typically kept their heads and faces clean-shaven, while women removed body hair as part of their grooming routine. This practice of hair removal was not only for personal hygiene, but also had cultural and religious significance. The choice of clothing in ancient Egypt was influenced by the climate and the need for comfort and practicality. Linen, made from the flax plant, was the primary fabric used for clothing. Linen was lightweight, breathable, and well-suited for the the hot and dry climate of Egypt. Linen clothing was not only comfortable, but also easy to clean and maintain. The Egyptians valued cleanliness and considered stained or soiled clothing as a sign of neglect. The light color of linen also helped in reflecting the sun's rays, keeping the wearer cool in the scorching Egyptian heat. In addition to linen, the Egyptians wore sandals made from papyrus or leather. These sandals protected the feet from the hot sand and allowed for better ventilation, further contributing to personal hygiene hygiene and comfort. Toothpicks were a fundamental tool in the ancient Egyptian dental hygiene arsenal. These toothpicks were typically made from readily available materials such as wood or bone. They were simple but effective instruments for removing food particles and dental plaque from between teeth and along the gum line. Egyptians would use toothpicks in a manner similar to how we use modern dental floss or interdental brushes today. In addition to toothpicks, ancient Egyptians employed early forms of toothpicks brushes made from frayed twigs. These twigs were typically from trees with fibrous branches, which could be chewed on one end to create bristle-like frays. By scrubbing their teeth and gums with these frayed twigs, Egyptians could effectively clean their mouths. The natural fibers of the twigs provided a mild abrasive action, helping to polish tooth surfaces and maintain oral cleanliness. Egyptians used a mixture of various ingredients to create their toothpaste. This concoction was notably different from modern toothpaste, but served similar purposes. Ancient Egyptian toothpaste often included several ingredients, crushed herbs, powders, and eggshells. These herbs, such as mint and myrrh, not only added flavor, but also had potential antibacterial properties. They contributed to the cleansing and freshness of the mouth. Powders like pumice and ashes from burnt animal bones were abrasive substances that aided in scrubbing away debris and dental plaque. Eggshells were were sometimes included for their calcium content, which could contribute to strengthening tooth enamel. While the ingredients in ancient Egyptian toothpaste may seem unconventional by today's standards, they were chosen for their perceived cleaning and protective properties. The combination of these elements helped to clean teeth, remove surface stains, and contribute to fresher breath, addressing common dental concerns of the time. Cosmetics played a significant role in ancient Egyptian society, not just for aesthetic reasons, but also for their 
their perceived health benefits. One of the most iconic Egyptian cosmetics was coal, a dark eye makeup made from substances like galena. Coal served a dual purpose. It enhanced the beauty of the eyes, but more importantly, it was believed to have protective qualities. Egyptians applied coal around their eyes to shield them from the glare of the sun, which could lead to eye strain and potential eye infections in the harsh desert environment. Perfumes and scented oils were also commonly used by both men and women. These fragrances not only masked body odor, but were also thought to deter insects and protect the skin from the drying effects of the sun and wind. Proper waste disposal and sanitation were crucial aspects of maintaining hygiene in ancient Egypt. In urban areas, communal toilets were available, and a system for waste disposal existed. These toilets often had a seat with a hole, and waste would fall into a chamber below, where it could later be collected and removed. In rural areas, people relied on simpler forms of waste disposal, such as pit latrines. These were holes dug in the ground for the purpose of waste disposal. After use, the holes were covered with soil to minimize odors and prevent the spread of disease. Access to clean water was also vital for maintaining hygiene. The Nile River was the primary source of water for drinking and bathing. Egyptians also dug wells and stored water in large clay jars for daily use. The proper storage of water was essential to prevent contamination. Ancient Egyptians had a sophisticated understanding of medicine and healing. Maintaining cleanliness and hygiene in medical practices was a fundamental aspect of their healthcare system. They used a wide range of herbs and remedies to treat various ailments and injuries. Wounds and injuries were carefully cleaned to prevent infection. Herbs and poultices were applied to promote healing. The ancient Egyptians believed that keeping wounds clean and free from contamination was crucial for successful treatment. Hygiene had profound religious significance in ancient Egypt. The concept of purity and cleanliness was intertwined with their religious beliefs, as well as their preparations for the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians believed in a complex pantheon of gods and an afterlife where the soul would be judged for its earthly deeds. For the journey to the afterlife to be successful, the body needed to be preserved. This belief led to the development of elaborate mummification practices. The process of mummification involved cleaning and purifying the body thoroughly. It included removing the internal organs, drying the body with natron, and wrapping it in linen bandages. Mummification was not reserved solely for the pharaohs and the elite. It was practiced across different social classes. It was a way of ensuring that the deceased would have a clean and prepared body for the journey to the afterlife. Hygiene in ancient Egypt was a multifaceted concept deeply ingrained in the daily lives and beliefs of its people. From personal cleanliness and grooming practices to the choice of clothing and dental hygiene, the ancient Egyptians took great care to maintain their well-being in a challenging environment. Waste disposal and sanitation were carefully managed, and medical practices emphasized cleanliness to promote healing. Perhaps most significantly, hygiene had a profound religious significance, with cleanliness being essential for the journey to the afterlife. The meticulous process of mummification, a testament to the importance of maintaining a pure and clean body, exemplified this belief. The legacy of hygiene in ancient Egypt serves as a reminder of the cultural and historical significance of cleanliness and well-being in human societies. Thanks for tuning in on Histories Untold. If you enjoyed today's episode and want to journey further into the fascinating corners of history, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we unearth another incredible story. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring, because history is filled with stories that are just waiting to be told. See you in the next episode.